Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about C rating. Whether you have a RC car, helicopter, drone, you're definitely gonna to wanna to know about the C rating and how it applies to your battery to maximize the performance of your device and your battery. We'll go over what the C rating is, why it's important, and how to calculate charge and discharge currents based on your C rating. And if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. So first of all, what is C rating? The C rating is defined by the rate of time it takes to charge or discharge a battery. A battery with a higher C rating is just like a water bottle with a larger opening. The bottle with the larger opening is able to let more water out faster than a bottle with a smaller opening. And there are usually three different types of C ratings that you'll need to pay attention to. The max charge C rating, the maximum constant discharge C rating, and a burst discharge C rating. The C rating you usually see printed on a battery is the maximum constant discharge C rating. For example, on this battery here, it has a C rating of 20 C, so it's able to discharge 20 amps of current in about three minutes. And we'll go over how to do these calculations later in the video. The burst C rating is sometimes included on the battery um, right after the constant discharge C rating separated by a slash. This C rating is defined by the amount of current that the battery is able to discharge in a short period of time in a burst in a matter of seconds. And this C rating is usually much higher than the constant discharge C rating. This C rating, however, will cause the voltage of the battery to drop much quicker. And you'll want to keep an eye on this number, especially if your application requires a powerful burst of energy in a short period of time. Such applications include RC cars, drones, or a vehicle jump starter. And last but not least is the max charge C rating. Different batteries have different maximum charge rates by their design. For example, the LiPo battery and the lithium ion battery, both are able to charge between 0.5 and 2C. And this indicates how fast the batteries are able to be charged. Again, the higher the charge C rating, the faster the battery will be able to be recharged. However, we usually recommend charging at a lower C rating in order to prolong the life of the battery. Even if the battery is rated at a higher charge C rating, we usually recommend to charge at a rate of 0.2C. So far, we've learned that the C rating is the measurement of the current in which the battery can be charged or discharged. Now, let's get into why the C rating is so important. The maximum discharge C rating is important when it comes to choosing a battery because this indicates how high the currents can be discharged from this battery. For example, if we have two different batteries, battery A with a capacity of one amp hour and a discharge C rating of 10 C, and battery B with the same nominal capacity of one amp hour, but a discharge C rating of 20 C, if you're looking for a battery that is able to deliver higher currents for your hydrogen applications, battery B will be the battery of choice in this instance. The C rating is also important when charging. The charge C rating will help calculate how much current or how fast the battery can charge without damaging it or shortening its lifespan. And now that we know how important the C rating is, let's learn how to calculate the charging and discharging currents using the C rating. And unlike the definition, the formula is much more simple. So the formula is the max discharge current equals the battery's rate of capacity, and usually you can find this on the label in the battery, multiplied by the C rating. For example, this battery here has a maximum discharge C rating of 20 C and a capacity of 1000 milliamp hours. So if we take the 1000 milliamp hours, multiply that by the 20 C, we get 20 amps. This is the maximum discharge current that the battery can deliver to your device. To calculate the burst discharge current for this battery again, with a capacity of 1000 milliamp hours and a burst discharge C rating of 25C, we'll take the 1000 milliamp hours, multiply that by the 25C to get 25 amps for the burst discharge current. And if your application pulls more than 20 amps continuously, you'll either need to find a battery with a higher capacity or a higher discharge C rating or both. And this battery has a maximum charge C rating of 1C. So we'll take the 1000 milliamp hours, multiply that by the 1C to get a maximum charge current of one amp. This means that charging at a rate higher than one amp for this LiPo battery pack will cause damage to the battery. And it's also worth knowing that charging at a lower charging current will prolong the life of the battery as well. 
And we can also calculate the amount of time it'll take your battery to fully charge or discharge using the C rating and this formula. For example, at a discharge rating of 0.5 C, this battery will be able to last one divided by 0.5 or two hours. And at a discharge rate of 10 C, it can last one divided by 10 or 0.1 hours or six minutes. As you can see from all the information that we've given you today, the C rating plays an important role when buying or maintaining your battery. And an extra tip is to purchase a battery with a discharge C rating of at least double the maximum current that your application can pull off. Or just buy a battery with the largest C rating you can find. This will allow the battery to run much cooler and have a much longer lifespan compared to a battery with a lower C rating. That's it for today's video. Hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and we'll see you next time.